Okay. Yeah, this is Sadama Paradise. Video on my face, let me see. <laughs> okay. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't want to use the the dual view camera. The dual view camera is the one that shows what I'm doing and also shows my face. Uh, but today I know I'm not gonna be able to use my hand to um um to video what I'm doing. So somebody's gonna have to video me today. I'm gonna pick the video and show some things before I'll give the camera to the person that wants to video me. So this is Animal Paradise. Welcome to my video. <laughs> okay. Um we have this um sprayer. Normally in Nigeria we call it knapsack sprayer, but it's not knapsack, is the, the first producer of those sprayers in Nigeria. So they were having that manual sprayer. So because of that, we just begin to say knapsack sprayer, knapsack sprayer. But the knapsack is a producer of the sprayer. Like this one now is 3WZ919. 919. The remaining things are Chinese. Are you seeing it? So if you call it knapsack, <laughs> you are doing injustice to it. The original name is motorized sprayer. Motorized sprayer because it has this motor under, this motor engine under. On this motor engine, we have two types the four stroke and the two stroke. I'm going to explain the difference between the top four stroke and the two stroke. The four stroke engine are engines that uses its own engine oil. You see where my hand is here? It has its own engine oil. Are you seeing it? There's no engine oil here. You open this place, you fill it with engine oil. I've already done that. Uh, I didn't show the video when I was doing that. You open here, you fill it with engine oil. On this side, you put it fuel on it. Because this engine is four stroke. Yeah, four stroke. That has something to do with the ROPM. Rotation per minute. And that's what you call rotation per minute in physics. When you are doing, um, um, talking about engine. The rotation per minute, that is how fast it goes. How the engine beats the the heart beat of the engine uh, that's the ropm why you have two stroke engine two stroke engines are engines that you miss um oil and fuel together and uh, on that two stroke engine they will give you one small measurement can where you will measure the fuel and then add the oil now um there's an engine there's a generator in nigeria we call i better pass my neighbor the nigerian people can relate with that um that generator you also the way you miss oil with the fuel that's how you miss oil with fuel on two stroke engines uh, but i think that four stroke engines last longer and are better than two stroke engine remember i said i think are you seeing it i think this machine is a four stroke engine some of the other ones you will see in my videos the one i always use is a two stroke engine you miss the fuel and the oil together in the same place but this one is a four stroke um engine are you seeing it then we have the backpack sprayer madam help me to bring the other tools that come with this um stuff we have the backpack sprayer i have a backpack brush cutter this one no there are some long long things yeah, inside, inside the house inside. Well, inside yes the backpack uh sprayer is backpack you put it in your back and be using it to clear grass yes and then we have some tools there are a lot of tools this is the blade this is the blade for the for the um the cutter you cut for the cutter now aha exactly let me use this as an example um yeah put them down put it there's another iron there are two irons on this brush cutter this brush cutter you have a three tooth blade they put three t there that is three tooth blade this one is eight tooth blade this one is four tooth blade this one is 40 tooth blade or 60 tooth blade i ordered some from china 60 tooth blade now the question now is why are we doing gold farming and we are talking about these things uh, please help me to drop it down uh, let it be straight, straight on the floor yeah uh, i'm not going to couple this one because coupling this one is a little bit difficult uh, this um this uh, i don't know what it's called but this is the power uh, stuff it enters into this pole you are seeing into this pole you put it in from here from this back you put it in and you hook it to this this place there's a place here you put it into you lift this one up and you lock it in then you lock the other one in they start moving the blade then you connect this blade to that mouth we have the brush cutter we have the uh, sorry the um um the line nylon rope there's a nylon rope that comes with this thing. 
Ah, I'm not seeing that big head now. We're supposed to have one big round head. Okay, maybe they, they put inside somewhere. They, I think that's what they did to us in the other machine just now. They hide some of the things inside another place. There's a bigger head that comes with that place. That bigger head has nylon rope inside. After that nylon rope, we have um, the three tooth blade. After the three tooth blade, we have the two, two tooth blade. The two tooth blade, um, or four tooth, the three tooth blade is to cut some grasses that are not so, so high. Uh, maybe grasses that are maybe on the shoulder of a human being. You use that three tooth blade to bush it down. The grasses that are very low, like from your ankle down, you use the nylon rope. The nylon rope will slash those ones and slash them off. I see it. Then this teeth is for wood. When you want to cut wood, you use these teeth to cut wood. Now, how does all these things concern us in goat farming? Remember, we said we have to prepare for um, um, the rainy season. And we have to save feed for the dry season of next year. And then you see when we we're planting our bracaria grasses, we make it two feet, the lines, the lines are two feet different, far away from each other. Because of this machine, because of this machine that you're going to use to harvest it. Are you seeing it? So if you carry this machine and you face one line, you swing it left to right, left to right, left to right, you'll just be moving left to right, left to right, you'll just be cutting it, falling down, cutting it, falling down, and be going. Then another person comes from your back and is guarding it up, guarding it up, guarding it up. It will just be in a very well arranged system. Are you seeing it? A very well, a well arranged system. So you can see from the beginning to the end, everything is strategically programmed to work together. Because if you want to use laborers now, all those uh, manual laborers that they are hiring to do all this work, if you want to use them now, they are collecting 4,000 naira per day. And after they have worked from uh, 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock, they'll tell you, say, one day, don't finish. One day, don't finish. Some of them will even work like one hour, like what they did to me when I was planting grass. I made a mistake. I would have programmed the whole um, land for them. The grass is supposed to take maybe like two, two acres. They now use it for like half one, one acre. They, they, not, they asked me, they said, they, Oga, another bag, see, they, me, I didn't know why they were asking me that. Another bag, see, they, I said, no, the bag, not there again. Then I said, okay. Then I started heaping a lo um, high quantity in the holes. Before I turn back, <laughs> go and come, the grass all finished. They said, Oga, grass all finished. <laughs> now grass has finished. What does it mean? I will have to give them their money. Are you seeing it? So next time, I will not price with them on a day. I will price the whole, com com the whole compound or the whole land I want to plant. I will price it with them. If they finish it, fine. If they don't finish it, I'll pay them half and tell them to come tomorrow. I'm going to bring another grass. Are you seeing it? I'm going to bring another grass seed for them to plant. So, that's that. So, this machine is to harvest the bracaria that you have planted on a row. On a row. Straight, straight row. You just stand at the front of the row. When we are harvesting it, I'm going to make a video of that. You stand at the front of the row. You cut it from left to right. You'll be swinging your machines. As you're swinging your machine, you're slicing them, slicing them. They will be falling to one direction. And then somebody will be picking it up. The, the person picking from the back will be picking it up. And then the work will be very, very easy. Very easy. But this is the machine I'm coupling today. This power and motorized sprayer. Not knapsack sprayer. Motorized sprayer. We have a fitter inside. There's a fitter here. There's a fitter. Okay, that fitter has a lock. Uh, there's a fitter. There's a fitter. The fitter has a lock. Good. Then you lock it. This lock has a rubber. There's a rubber on it. Uh, where is it? That rubber was here. If you don't put that rubber, the water will be leaking from your back. There's one black rubber. Please help me find it. It should be on the floor. Black. Yeah, black rubber like rope. It's a rubber like rope. It was here just now. Or did I put inside that carton? One black rubber that they put for here. It's rubber like black rubber. It's like rope. Uh, exactly. Yes. So you're gonna uh -huh, fix it in there. Yes. The reason why you fix it in there is that when you put this in on your back, as it's shaking, the water will not be pouring out. It won't be pouring out. Yeah, just clip it in and when you lock it, it will go down. Most of these machines, um, 
They are Chinese-made machine. People used to say that Chinese product doesn't last long. But even human being does not last long. And then if not for China products, we the poor people may not be able to buy all these machines. Um, the cost price of this machine now may be 280000 or 300000 because dollar price is high in Nigeria. Approximately, let us say 300000 or from 250 to 280, uh, um, 250 to 300, it's approximately. So now, there are different, different types. I don't know how much this one costs because this one was brought in from Japan or China directly by the owner. Now, um, you lock it in so that the water will not spill. And then you have... Oh! Ah, I'm not supposed to, um, I'm sure the name of this chemical, but that's the chemical we are using. Okay, let me show it from top. Um, from top. I remember we are uh, YouTube, we are in YouTube partnership program. So um, we have to be careful the way we make our videos or else they will not approve the video. So this is the chemical you will use. It's called acaricite. This is the acaricite you will turn into this thing. This acaricite is 200 ml for one bottle. And then one ml is for one liter. So the way you have... 25 liters. These are to read the liters of the of the of the sprayer. There is 25. Uh, Spare my hand is here. I, I don't know if it's showing, but there is 25 written. Uh, yeah, okay, I've got it now. There is 25 here. So this is a power sprayer, 25 liter power sprayer. Are you seeing? This is a 25 liter power sprayer. The other one I'm using is 30 liters power sprayer. We have 30 liters. We have 25 liters. We have um. Uh, 20 liters, you have up to 15 liters power sprayer. I so if you have 25 liters of um of water, you're going to put 25 ml of this acaricite inside. Are you seeing it? This is the acaricite we use in spraying that. You put it inside and then you own it and start spraying. But today, I want to couple it. I want to couple it. I've added fuel to it. I just decided to say, okay, let me make a video of how I'm coupling it. Madam, I need your attention now. Yeah. Hey. Okay, you're going to stand far and video what my hand is doing. Stand this way. Let it be very clear. Stand here and video what my hand is doing. Yeah. Uh, it's what my hand is doing the people want to see. Uh -huh. So you're covering my hand and covering here? Yes. Good. So you take this part. You see, they have a two knob. There are two knobs there. This one goes into another thing. You take this one, and then there is a rubber washer inside. That rubber washer, because it's water that's going to be flowing, you got to put that rubber washer so that it will not be leaking. So you take this and bring it here. There's a place there. You lock it in. Come close to my hand. Very close. Are you seeing what my hand is doing? Yes. Yeah. You lock it in. You screw it like screw. With your hand, it doesn't have to be too tight. With your hand, you don't have to use spinal because you're going to be losing it from time to time. Um, this is the power, this is the generator, this is the machine that pumps the water, this is the pump. There's a, a kind of um, motorized, motorized uh, powering machine here. Then there's a pump. This pump is at the back. So then you bring this one, and then uh, this one goes into this one. This is the handle. It goes into this one. For you to be opening it and locking it. For it to be opening and locking. I'm coming. Yeah. That's not how it goes. Are you videoing my hand? Good. So you lock this one in. This is the handle actually. You lock this one in. This is the on and off control. You so off it, you want to um off it and on it. You off it, you on it. You lock it in. Now, you be careful with this one so that you don't break it in the process of tightening it. Just use hand. Most of these things is hand you use to tightening it. It will not leak. Then you fix this one to this handle. To this handle. There is a rubber washer that used to be there. Did that throw that rubber washer away? That uh height -huh, has fallen. Hey. Uh -huh. You must put this rubber washer. If you don't put it, it will be leaking. Water will be splashing out. So you put it like this and you lock it in. You lock it in. So this is the on. You on like this. You start working, you off. Now, this is the handle. In case you feel this one is too heavy, it says there's a supporter. A supporter. Now, this is a control. It's a control switch. You use the control switch to control the 
the pressure, if you want the water to come out wide, you roll it backward. The, as you're rolling it backward, you'll be seeing the water will be getting wide. If you want it to be narrow and focused so it can go far, you tighten it. As you're tightening it, you'll be seeing it will be narrowing up and going back. So this one controls how you spray. So you hold it like this, you're spraying, you're controlling, you're spraying, you're controlling, you're spraying, you're controlling. Or you set it at one particular point in which you need it to be. Then you start spraying, 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 spraying your animals. You spray your animals. The essence of the motorized sprayer is because the motorized sprayer has pressure. Yeah, it has pressure. The motorized sprayer has pressure. That pressure will penetrate, penetrate down through the surface of the fur of the animals. The surface of the hair on the body of the animal, it will enter inside to the skin. Because the lice, the fleas, the mites, they are on the skin of the animal where the hair is growing out through. Let, let us say this is the animal. The hair is covering the body. Where the hair starts from, that's where the, the para, uh, parasites used to stay. They will go and put their teeth, their teeth or their proboscis, they will put it on, on the skin of the animal and be sucking their blood. Their, the blood. Are you seeing it? So, and the hair will cover them. So if you just spray on the surface of the air, on the hair of the animal, it will not get to the the parasites. So that's why you need something that has pressure to push the acaricite down to where the external parasites are. That's why we need this. And then let me quickly say, don't spray baby goats with this thing. And any goat that is less than six months, don't spray them. If you spray baby goats, the pressure will create a negative effect on them. Even the noise will be making them afraid and tense up. I've seen it because they are still babies. So you spray well, those small, small ones. You carry them hand and foot. You dip them inside the bucket of a carry site. You dip all of them, all the small, small ones. You dip them first. After dipping them, you can carry the remaining carry site and turn inside this, this um, 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 sprayer. And then you top it more with more a carry site. After topping the more a carry site, you then spray the larger or the bigger animals. Have you seen it? Then after spraying the bigger animals, you will now also spray the house where they are sleeping. Because... Um, the parasites don't lay their eggs on the body of the animals. They lay their eggs inside the pen. Are you seeing it? And some of those parasites are inside those pen, where the corner of wood, where one wood you have hole, and all those small, small places in the corner. They are all hiding there. After they have sucked blood, they will fall down. They will walk inside the soil and go and hide somewhere and lay their eggs there and come back again to suck the animal's blood. Are you seeing it? So, when you finish spraying the animals, Make another um, chemical um, carcassite solution. Spray the house. I think there's a video where I was spraying um, a lot of pen. I think I made two or three videos when I was spraying pen, some pen. So spray up all the pens. Spray up the pen with this carcassite. Now, if you had had a PPRO outbreak in your farm before, there's another chemical you will use to spray your farm. If you have a PPRO outbreak, you spray your farm, and then. When you want to, at least in your um, quarantine area, should be sprayed every week as you spray the animals. Inside the place where the animals are, if they don't have um, um, any disease outbreak, it's only tick, tick lice and, and fleas and mites, use this acaricide to spray their house. But the quarantine place where sicknesses are, there is another chemical you will add to this acaricide. When you have missed a food bucket of acaricide, a food um, um, a container or sprayer of the acaricide. When I touch the acaricide, you move, you move to see. Ah, thank you. <laughs> so, when you mix this one to full, you will now put that other chemical inside it. This chemical deals with tick, lice, fleets, mites, and some other external parasites that we may not know. There are many parasites. Many, more than 200 different, different parasites. But this chemical used to deal with them. But, the chemical does not deal with virus. Viruses, and bacteria, there's another chemical that kills them. So if you have a PPRO outbreak, PPRO is caused by virus. Are you seeing it? And some other diseases are caused by bacteria. This chemical doesn't deal with it. This chemical only deal with um, the ones I've mentioned, external parasites. Why those other bacteria and viruses, which is possible, which are which may be in your quarantine area. Remember, in your quarantine space, you are putting a lot of sick, sick animals there. When they are coughing, you put them there. They will cough. And whatsoever comes out, if the bacteria and virus that comes out of the cough is inside that house. And then you will also bring um, animals that have cata. Some will blow cata. You know, you know goats used to blow cata. 
when they blow Qatar, the Qatar will fall down <laughs> like human being. When they blow Qatar, some will use their nose that has Qatar to clean the wall. When they clean that wall, you will treat them. They will get well. But they have deposited that virus and bacteria in the quarantine space. They will get well. And meanwhile, the, before you remove your animal from quarantine to join the other animals, you must spray them. Spray them. You must spray them to ensure that they don't carry any carryover into the, the major herd. And when you bring in new animals into your, maybe for those people that are starting new farms, when you bring in new animals, the last thing you do to them on quarantine, when they have passed from quarantine, is spraying. You give them all the antibiotics we have been talking about in our videos. You give them all the treatments. You give them everything. The day they want to graduate from quarantine to join the major herd, you must spray them. You get chemical, you will spray them. After spraying them well, you now allow them to run into the sun. When the sun is hot, they will run into the sun. They will dry themselves. Then they are they've graduated. They've passed from quarantine to the major herd. They've graduated from college to high school. <laughs> so they have graduated <laughs> no, from high school to college. college. From high school to college. All those are American languages. In Nigeria, we don't use those languages. Uh, we have um, high school and then we have university. And that's what we have in Nigeria. So <laughs> <laughs> no, they, are, they are almost the same thing. They are. I know they are. They're high school and university, they are almost the same. You know, <laughs> so that is the... Agri, the motel is agri, is a, uh, agriculture. Okay. All is university. All is the same thing. Yes. But even university then used to cheat all... All the department. No, why could want to cut it? <laughs> so that's that. So the last thing you do is to um spray them and then they will cut uh, pass into um the major heart. I seen it, and then um when they bring four now, we're gonna spray. But before then, I want to show the farm where we are. We're in a farm here, a farm that is in the measurement of um is it one hundred? Uh, hey, that's good, thank you very much. One hundred feet. By no, 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 200 feet by 200 feet. All right, oh no, 100 feet by 100 feet. I don't know the measurement. Is it this one is 200 feet? Okay, one is 200, one is 100. Yeah. I don't know, but they are there. So, this is the farm we are here. The goats are doing well. We brought this goat last time. Um, they were stressed out, they were worn out. But this guy on yellow shirt, show that guy for me. There's a guy on yellow shirt. <laughs> His name is Alaji. Alaji, what? Alaji Mame. Alaji He's the captain that is taking care of all these animals. He actually, I came today now, I saw that the animals improved. They improved greatly. They improved greatly. Very, very well. They are doing well now. They are even bigger. And then I, I got to understand that um, um, just like uh, in the poultry feed, just like in the poultry feed, um, you see those local chickens and the boilers. If you use the feed you're using to feed the boilers, if you use them to feed the local feed, they will also improve. Oh. They will grow fat. Because the thing that makes the boiler grow fast is in the feed. Are you seeing it? So these guys now, they bought those feed that those uh, ram fatness. Those guys are used to fattening ram. Uh, you know we don't fattening goats. We don't do goat fattening. We will do fattening for um, rams. Rams, um, balami, uda, and all those kind of exotic um, animals. We do fattening for them to make sure that they gain weight within a short period of time so they can um, and be sold for a higher amount of money. You cannot do that with goats. But they gave those fattening food to these goats. You see they are really looking healthy in just two weeks. So imagine if you are able to continue feeding them with that fattening feed. A bot. A, I think they bought about nine bags for almost 100,000 or even more than 100,000. No, seven bags. Seven bags for almost a hundred thousand, and that um, I think is just um, it didn't last for a long time. Have you seen it? So if you're going to be doing goats, you can't be doing goats. You can't be using that fattening feed. Uh, but we brought um, a bracaria grass seed. Tomorrow morning we're going to be um, um, planting that bracaria. They've cleared the land. Um, I think they've prepared the land. We want to plant. They've cleared it. And so we're going to be planting there tomorrow because if you want if you want to do goats successfully, you must have your feed. Your feed of plants. <laughs> they know you are the one feeding them. <laughs> video what they are doing. Video what they are doing. Show the video. Show what they are doing. I see it. <laughs> they are intelligent animals. Intelligent animals. They see the guy feeding them. They come to them. 
I seen him. They went to meet the guy, feeling them, hoping like, oh God, what's up? Anything for us? Anything for us? <laughs> they didn't bring anything. <laughs> I see. They are following him up and down. That's what animals do to people who take care of them. Uh, all animals, actually. Uh, if you're always giving them feed, giving them feed, they will come to you. See? You see the way he's touching Nigerian dwarf? That goes Nigerian dwarf. Nigerian dwarf. Can you imagine? Very, very unlike. And that one is a very friendly one. <laughs> it's a very friendly one. Nigerian dwarf don't let you touch it. <laughs> they will not allow. No I, I see it. So they, they are used to him, you know. Now food they want not be water. And now food they want need now. Food. Yeah. I see it. So to be buying those feed, those feed, the bags are just there. Huh? The bag of feed. Let me hold the video now. Thank you very much, man. Okay. Aha. Okay. Which one do we have now? Now this one I want to give them one. Okay. This one, the this is the sir. Uh, yeah, this is the wheat. brown. Huh? This is wheat. Uh, this is the uh, Okay. So, uh, when they are eating this one, they'll be getting fat. Uh, Which other ones you guys have? You have a beans. Now, the food will go ground, so you pack them on. No good. Uh, yeah. no, no good. That's waste. This is very expensive. This food will make them fat. And you, but sometimes you miss it without uh, beans stock. If, if, I, they, I, miss the, if I, I don't want, I want to be, do so that. May I give my guard gap to buy food? Okay, may not to waste. I mean, not pack to and waste. come out in my video, sure. This one is corn. Okay, you guys have corn. Uh, okay, okay. It's okay. Corn. Yeah. Pack it out in your hand. Okay. Yeah. Where did they get this one from now? From corn meal? Uh, corn meal. They want to sweep the waste on the ground. Uh, okay, see. okay. Uh, yeah, they're getting They back. like this one well, well. Mm, but uh, you, will, you will give them, um, I will miss salt and the uh, enzyme salt for you tomorrow. Okay, sir. And as you are eating this corn now, you must put enzyme salt in their drinking water. Okay. So they will not I have blood. Even they put themselves. Uh -huh. I put them. Wait, beans. Beans. See beans here. Yeah. The thing don't go down well well. Uh, the thing don't go well, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. These beans. Yeah, beans. you see it. Yeah, this shaft, they cover the back of beans. The back of beans. And meanwhile, goats does not eat normal beans, so this is a uh, the other one, granite stuff. Uh, this one is granite, granite stuff, yeah. yeah. See the, this thing here, no, that one is dirty. Okay, the refresh one is uh, there. See the fresh one here. Okay. Mm. What you say, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that is the granite stem. See, yeah, granite stem, exactly, uh, exactly, yeah. exactly. All these brewy waste now, they don't spoil, have you? Uh, all all these other bags you are seeing, they are brewy waste. And they are brewy waste, actually, though I think they should be bad now because, oh, yeah, let's go. Uh -huh. And But sometimes this do sign, eh? uh -huh. if you allow them to eat it raw, they will they cough. Uh, once in the, in the some time, they give them. Uh -huh. now, that's why you go miss them with beans okay. because they eat them normally like that they go the cough. Okay. This is the pen. This is the pen of the farm. Yeah, that's the pen. Um, I'm going to go and video how they make that pen. You can even see it from here. You see, they cover it. The whole back is covered. This front is left to be covered with tampoli in the rainy season. Meanwhile, all these go, they don't sleep. There is a fraction of this pen that will. Okay, this is Animal Paradise video. Uh, we gotta show all everything. <laughs> okay, this pen was built because of the big dream. Uh, we we have a um, few number of plants here, but it's not few plants actually. The farm. Uh, there's another side. I'm going to open this side. Ah uh, man, who's calling? Not now. Let me put my phone on flight mode. Okay, video. Okay. We did we do know that thing. Okay. Sorry for that my phone so i need to go and put my phone on flight this is a pen that pen we're looking for from outside this is how big inside is this is how big the pen is this is how big it is on one part oh this is just one part we have uh, some paddocks here that were cut out these are paddocks that were cut out 
But this is where the goats are sleeping. See, you see the way it will cover it up. You cover it up. You cover it up. You see it. You cover it up. After covering it, you will still put fire inside. You will still put fire inside this place. Uh huh. Here is dark. Okay, this big wood. Oh man, we can't see. There's a big wood here. This big wood is there is to on the fire in the night. All the goats will be sleeping inside here. They will on that fire in the night. And uh, until they get used to, they see so on fire there too. Until the goats get used to um, this weather. Have you seen it? When you move animals, you do so, such a thing for them. Until they get used to this weather. Have you seen it? You have to systematically. Uh, okay, this one is you feel it in separately. Uh, no, this one is the biggest for inside. Uh -huh. the own difference. I'll be a senior bros. Go ahead. <laughs> Nobody will come because okay. I'm safe. And then check the techniques that they use in doing feeding them. They separated them all. You see, they separated the feed on different different rubber so that they can Everybody eat separately. If you leave it for every every one of them, it will they will be fighting. Uh, this is another place, and um, but here's another place, and then that's that. Are you seeing it? So then this is another place. All this is goat pain. Is goat pain. All this pain is goat pain. So they make a, a very big pain for the goats. And um, then we have, um, because of the strategy that was used, the, the goats are still coming up. Yeah, because they stuck before. I think this farm stuck over a hundred goats before. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, how many? Can you remember the number? No. The one that they bought before. Uh, yeah, the owner said that he reached 100 and okay 110 pieces i mean yeah, 110 pieces uh -huh. then what now happen you can't die or ppr now came and wiped them all out you die or yes ppr wiped so them all out this time around because of that time service maintenance issue no even the okay the person where even the control it didn't know anything about the animal until you come <laughs> an expert <laughs> 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 if Lee, so, uh, there's a parable in our place that if Lee's that far from up, you don't commend him, he will commend himself. <laughs> Allergy. So, those 100, the, the, the PPRO wiped them out because they were not vaccinated animals, actually. That's how PPRO wiped them out. But these ones came in now. I think this one was how many? This one we count now is 20. 20. We, the man want to test because um, he has um, spent a lot, a lot of... on the wrong side. And then now he want to test, and I say, okay, let me give him twenty animals, and let him use it to test. test and then they've been here for is it up, how many weeks now? Now they don't get into they don't get, they don't get to a month now. So okay, they get to a month. Now, okay, now. because of the stress um, that they passed through, only one, how many died? Only one. Only one died out of the whole and um, the whole uh, twenty. Only one died. And then I used to talk about mortality. Uh, mortality is a part of the system, a part of the system of farming. Animal will die. They are living things. And so, but out of the 20, only one died. The remaining ones, um, they survived. Now, if you check that pole, there's a CCTV camera there. If you check that other side, there's also a CCTV camera on this pole. If you have a farm, if you have a farm, put cameras there. Anywhere you are on the face of the earth, you will be seeing what is going on. And that woman is also the one assisting that man to... <laughs> No, this woman and her husband, they are assisting that guy to take care of the animals. I seen it. So, if you have a farm, you must put cameras in your farm. Put cameras in your farm. Uh, Nigerian people, uh, they never civilize rich when you go delegate duties to their hand and not monitor them. If you do that, they will behave the way they like. After behaving the way they like, any mistake made by your worker will cost you money. Uh, any mistake that your worker make, either conscious mistake or unconscious mistake, either direct or indirect mistake, is going to cost you the owner money. Hey, I are following that phone. Let me pick it up. So it's going to cost the, the owner money. So you as the owner, ensure that you don't create space for your workers to make mistakes. Ensure that you don't do that. For me, I have a philosophy that if I delegate duties to people and I'm not there to supervise, it seems something must go wrong. And something must just go wrong. I, my personal, and it's all, all, always true. You know, so be, if I want to do something, I create time for that thing. I'll go there, create time for it, do it as time allow me. 
If my time finishes, I stop. I postpone it when I have time again. Because if you say, hey, do this one, hey, do that one, my God. <laughs> you will waste money. You will just waste money. You will waste money. The, even the grasses we planted last time. I was there. I was there from morning till at about 2 o'clock or 2.30. Then and I said, that 2 o'clock or 2.30, they've done like half of the bag. And I told the other boy, okay, use your bike to pick me, uh, carry me to the village. Let me eat and let's come back. I left up at about 2 o'clock. But after 4, the guy said grass don't finish. The thing we've been planting since morning will not finish half. I just left for 2 hours and then grass don't finish. They heap everything there and close. If I had not left that place, things would have seen me going well. Are you seeing it? So, always monitor your farm. You cannot invest millions of naira in, in a farm and you leave it without monitoring it. It doesn't work. Uh, accountability is not suspicion. If you call somebody to give you account of what you've delegated into their hands, it doesn't mean you're suspecting them. Oga, okay, I transfer 100,000 naira to you to use to run expenses. Tell me what and what and what and what did you buy? This is what I bought. Okay, arrange it in the camera view. Let me see them on camera. I'm not sure you're suspecting your worker. And you are just allowing him to be accountable. You're even teaching him and training him to be accountable. So, part-time, always monitor your workers. Always monitor. These cameras are not expensive. And they are not. This is, this is different from the one we are using. It's also solar, solar powered though. And it's different from our own. It's another version of solar powered. I see. I think it's within the range of 150,000 and 120, maybe 120 to 180. They are different frame grade. You can get one of 120. Maybe these types are 120. The other ones we used to use, they are about 150, 160, 165. Even though the prices are increasing every day. And even though that one we used to use, there are two sec, two type of it. The original one and the not so good one. Uh, I will not use the word the fake one. It's not so good because some people are using it and it's still working for them. Uh, even though the battery doesn't last as long as it's supposed to last. Uh, while the ones we are using, the battery doesn't run out. The ones, all the ones I have, the battery doesn't run out. I see it. The battery continues like that. I see it. So spend money on your investment and at the same time monitor your investment. They're yeah, not just sending somebody to go there and monitor. You put an eye, an eye on it. Most of all these cameras used to send signals. And they used to, they used to send signals. When somebody walk within the range, they will send a lot to your phone. You will check it and say what is going on there. The other guy who saw cameras in his farm uh, recently, he was surprised that one of the evenings, the workers did not chase the animals in. The workers didn't chase the animals in. Ah, he was like, he now called me. Like, can you imagine by this time? <laughs> the animals are still outside. That was about 7 30 I to 8 in the evening. The animals are still outside. Yeah, I don't say, are, are you for ten? No, if to say you don't get camera. <laughs> if to say you don't get camera for them. Are you for ten? Are you seeing it? So put cameras in your investments. Either poultry, either go tree. Anything, anything, anything you're doing, whether it is even a, a different kind of businesses, put camera there, use your eyes to be seeing what's going on, not that somebody will be telling you uh, with bodies and when they didn't buy that. Are you seeing it? So, that's that. The fuel we are waiting for has come. Uh, I think the guy is coming there. The husband of that woman has gone to buy fuel. He's coming. They are all joining hands together to manage this farm. So, that is it. This is the power sprayer. The power spray is to control tick lights and mites in the farm. In the farm. And then the brush cutter is also to harvest your grass. To harvest your grass. Uh, daily workers are used to collect maybe like 4,000 or 5,000. Uh, if you have this, the work will be easy. It will be easy. It will be very, very easy for you. Uh, recently, I have uh, some boys in my farm. They don't know how to do job. There's a job, all those manual labor, to do clearing, do farm work, and do all that. They don't know how to do it. Uh, so they stay in my farm. All those my people around that are doing farming there, they are not able to entice them to come and work for them. Uh, some of the workers I was having before, those guys will entice them. They will leave my work and go and be clearing grasses, clearing one chain, two chain, clear for them, join them to pit gari, don't join them to harvest gari. But these ones don't know how to. So these ones, they stay in the farm. Even though I consciously increase the money I'm paying them, but they stay in the farm. Morning to night is farm work they are doing. All right, our foyer has come. We're going to talk foyer now. Um, Mo <laughs> Mohammed. Jude. Hey, Jude. Now, got it. now, got it for Lantoko. Now, Jude be in name. 
<laughs> you give a new name. <laughs> this guy. Dude. <laughs> okay, if they make your video, they copy me. <laughs> <laughs> they make your video. Uh, <laughs> you see me, they do video. Come on, move, 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 So the fuel has come. We want to turn fuel into it. Um, I think funnel day here. Yeah. They brought funnel with it. Can we? The jelly, the jelly can full. Hmm? If full. The full jelly. No. Now small one put. You know, say. Just. Uh, just, um, just lift it up and turn it in. Now small one put. And then the maintenance of the of this machine, I told them before. Once you finish using it, eh, you will remove all the foil. You open it like this and turn all the foil out. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this one is um, this one is four stroke. I'm not sure you're supposed to turn it out. Mm? The two stroke we are using, the two stroke engine. You know, there's no engine oil. Yet. We used to turn that one out. After turning it out, we will on it so that the foil in the carburetor will dry off. But this one that has engine oil, I'm not sure we'll be able to turn it upside down for the foil to come out. Are you seeing it? And then, I think this one operates like um, like a generator. So, the foil, not put all those foil. Now, small you put all. Now, small. And not put all of them. You have to put small. It's okay. You can make it there now. More full and leave and there. Okay, this four stroke now, I think it's like a generator. So, we can leave foil inside. And that's a two stroke. The carburetor, if you leave fuel inside, the carburetor, the fuel will go and cake the carburetor hose. There's a hose, two hose hey! from the carburetor. Is that full? Hey! Yeah, this is the hose. This hose, these two hose, they are flexible no, hoses. Fuel, if you put fuel, leave fuel inside, later this hose will not be strong and it will break. Especially this black one, it will break. The fuel will, will spoil it. And that's why when you finish using that two stroke, you will turn away all the fuel. Our... Um, power sprayer is two stroke. Our brush cutter is also two stroke. So when we finish yeah. using it, we turn the foil out. The same thing with um, our postal digger. We also turn the foil out. We don't leave it in. Um, Mohammed, yes, come. Let me show you how to on it. Before then, I think we should fill it with water. That's my voice. I'm hearing there. You were videoing me. No. My former video. Yeah. Okay, so let's put it on the floor now. Put it down. Get water. Put it down. Get water. Let's put it down here. We have fuel and the uh, oil in it now. So get water. Okay. This hose now is longer. It looks is longer. Yeah. Get water. Let's fill it with water. Okay. This is uh, power sprayer. We have our carry size there already. Um, 20 mil, 20, um, 20 liters now, 25 liters will give you 25 mil of acaricite. Uh, but the more you're using this acaricite, you will be increasing the quantity. You'll be increasing the quantity. As you start, you'll be using um, um, 1 mil to 1 liters. But the more you, as you're not using it, maybe 6 months, 7 months, you'll be increasing it. Increasing it. Sometimes at least 25 liters, not putting 25, uh, 25 mil, you will not top it with extra 5 mil. You top it with extra 5 mil. Before you know, you'll be increasing it small, small. Because those external parasites, they used to build resistance. They used to build resistance. And sometimes they'll build resistance. You will spray them with the chemical. They will not die. So the more you, you top it, the more you still be getting them down. And on to some people say they used to rotate their chemicals. If you have originals, you have opportunity to have more than one original chemical. You can change. But for us down here, um, we have different, different types. I have used those types. I have seen that they don't work. And the only one that works for me is this one. So I keep increasing the dosage of this one and I keep getting results. Are you seeing it? No, no. Open it first. Put the chemical inside and then turn water. It will dilute very well like that. If you put the water first, get syringe. Get syringe. That's injection thing. Now you take measure and put for inside. Okay. Yeah, you should have syringe now. The syringe is in that power box that is over there. So I used to top. I would top it and increase it, top it and increase it. And then sometimes when I bring in new animals, I used to top it strong. I used to make it strong. And uh, you make it strong so that it will just first break down all the things that came with. 
Yeah, it will just break it down. And then I think there are even some vet, 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 um, vet medicine. There's a kind of a particular kind of support they made in. They will tell you that the first day give six meal. The second day give three, three meal for the many five days. And the many four days, three, three meal. So the first day you give it, you boost it. That boosting will give results. That's for that as of what they may do. I'm not saying for all that drugs. So there are some drugs that you will overdose it to kill the animal. And if you overdose it to kill the animal. So, but I'm just using that as an example for the boosting. This acaricite, you must be boosting it. As you keep using it, you'll be boosting it. Using it, you'll be boosting it. As you're using it, you'll be boosting it. But now, sir. Yes. You want one more spray the thing now? I need to teach you how to use it. Very early tomorrow morning, I'm leaving. So if we miss it now and you use it, you can keep it and continue. Uh, 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 but I don't want to spray it now because it's they're not dry. dry. They're yes, dry. Uh -huh. yes. But I need to show you how to use the machine. Okay. I don't want the name of this machine to show. So cover the name with your hand. Okay. Yes. Good. <laughs> Open it and put um a uh, hair. Put twenty five mil. Okay. One syringe is no. Remove that needle from the mouth. Okay, you've covered it. Let me show your hand now. Remove that needle, that thing. You know where five reach now? Uh, yeah. So, how many five is in 25? How many five? This, you're having a five mil syringe. How many will you put inside this can to make 25? To make 25. That's five pieces. Okay. Oh, yeah. Put five pieces inside. That's how many? One. One. Yeah. Two. Two. That carries. I don't let the name show, please. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Irrespective of how we cover, there's what we used to call uh, when we we're small. We had this thing we call uh, boju boju. <laughs> So, irrespective of how you cover it, our uh, smart Nigerians will still know, know what it is. <laughs> Especially people in our group. We know what it is, but I have to follow guidelines. Yeah, it's the guidelines I'm following. Yeah, please, don't be offended at that. You call me, you can get the name. I think in some of my videos, you even show self. Uh, but I don't want that time that those the name show in those videos, I was not on monetization. Yeah, I was not on YouTube monetization. So, those videos... I showed the name that time. Even some drugs I used to use, I used to show the name. But after registering for the YouTube partnership program, there are guidelines. There are some things you don't just show. Yeah. There are some languages you don't use. There are some videos you will show. What's there? I don't lock them for outside. Though. Yes. Okay, pick them out, I beg. Pick them out. It's those um, rubber washer. Mm. And that man, those people... Not for their place. That place where they live. No, not for their skin. You, you, for spray, their skin. Them. Eh, you spray their skin. So you put five F uh, twenty five mil. The water. Yes. No, that chemical you put how many? It's twenty five mil. So put twenty five liters of water. Okay. The water will get to where they write twenty five. There's somewhere they write twenty five here. Okay. No. What is this? What they write? It's twenty five. Twenty five here. Yeah. It's twenty five. Yeah. No, this way is twenty five. Mm. Twenty five. Yeah. Abby. Yeah. So put water to reach that twenty five. The twenty five has one line. Let it reach there. Okay. And if you don't turn it spots, you will feel the full and where where. That time you know how to miss the chemical. Hey, look here. This place they leak. Let me lock them. Yeah, that washer we put did not work. That washer no work. It did not work. Huh? It did not work. Go. Uh -huh. I mean, not tight, yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Don't oh, tighten. Mm. Is there rats inside the house? Hmm? What's making inside the house? That is that. Okay. All right. Is it drop still dropping? Drop. Mm hmm. Okay. Huh? What do we do now? Put it on top of this table. Put it on top of the table. Let me check inside that carton if another washer day. But I make sure it's double washer. We don't tie time now. You don't reach the end, you know. Mm. And you see they drop. Huh? Normally they are not supposed to open that thing where they were bringing it. So it's, maybe something is wrong with this. Hey. Where is it dropping from? Somebody give me torchlight. Did I see touch light here since? Uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Is it okay? Is the washer, the washer not tight, enter? Huh? I'm not sure if the washer did it. Or... Washer not did it. That washer not tight, enter. What do we do now? 
What do we do? Do we have any tube here? No. Tube. Where the rubber we can cut to double that wash and make it strong. No, be that in a different thing. Mm. Na rubber. That, that one. That in a this thing. That one for the brush cutter. The brush cutter. This thing there's no love. Mm, uh, this is my hand safe. I don't know where I can sleep with this now. They are carry size. Okay, because we are used to it, we don't need. Really... <sighs> no, no, only this 25, uh, 25 mil. I go put about. Uh, 25 mil. Uh, I think it is going. It's, it's slowing down. It's slowing down. The drop is slowing down. What's happening? Oh, you can't see your post tighter. Let's try to turn it tight. Mm -hmm. The tighter I did it, I think it will stop. Okay, let's see. Now it will just stop. Uh, now stop. Okay, that won't spoil it. Anyhow, let's lock. Oh, oh. I don't know. We cut oil. I don't know. The oil will throw out on that side. Yeah. Incoming know. voice. Is anybody having credit for this one? I want to make call. Can I make anybody? Yeah, call. Okay. Open the dial dialer for me. This place is dropping. Um, I think because it is um, it is um. Did it? Okay, now. Sim what? Sim Where is Sim two now? This one. <coughs> so. So I think because it is um. Because you get um color true color for this phone. Yeah. Because this thing is um hello? Yeah. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Have you guys closed now? It's not switched off. I put my phone on flight mode. I'm making video and a lot of calls are coming in, so I put it on flight mode. Mm. Mm. Hey, is that right? people are going home now? It's okay. Let me let me call you later. It is the man, the manager of this farm. Yes, I'm making video. Let me call you back. No, it's not possible. Mm, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll be coming. All right. Yeah. Take, Haga. Okay. So, like I was saying, um, I think because it's four stroke engine, that's why they open here down for us to be exiting the water that's remained. Uh, but normally here is sealed. In my own, here is permanently sealed. It doesn't open. When we finish spraying today, I'm going to double the washer, the rubber washer. There's a rubber washer inside. That will help it not to um, um, be leaking. Now, give, give us more water. Uh, let's fill it stuff to 25 liters and then let me teach you how to on it and back it so this is it we have one nozzle here this nozzle is the one me i always use in my in spraying my own uh, because this one has pressure this nozzle can give you pressure this nozzle it can give you pressure it is the place where the chemical comes out through there's another nozzle here that is um it's three in one it has exit here, it has exit here, at the middle it has exit here, um, at the center here. I see in this place. You can join the two poles together. Madam, please, assist me. Daddy. Just give you my hand. A hand. You can join these two nozzles together like this. Mm -hmm. You can join it together like this and connect and connect this thing to this place. You connect it to this place. Are you seeing this? You connect to this place or you remove this um 
Which one is the charge before? And I have my own now, actually. The USB. Yeah, <laughs> Now how many how many so bad wife you get? From here, huh? from here. No, we go charge uh, wife separate so though. I'm making video, people should do this noise. Really? They come out from here, from here, and from here. You'll be spraying it. Most times it is good to spray grasses. And uh, because oh, the pressure that comes out from here, here. is not enough to spray those goats. You'll only be wetting them. If you need more pressure, you use this one. Uh, because th this one has well, one the more more pressure, bank here. you use this one. This one has Nepal a you daddy. Daddy. Nepal banking can and you and you. So you connect this one and then you can get more pressure from this. You regulate the pressure with this back, this knob. You regulate it backward, regulate it forward. It will be giving you high pressure. High pressure. And it will be going very fast. Daddy. Why fear be really very important. Yes, now you take on the wife now. And, and so the uh, power bank here. Yeah. For this. This one has small pin. I mean, small oh, pin now. Oh, right. Let me have the phone. Even this one. So let's make it. Um, handle. See the handle. Can use the handle to control it. Small, small. Don't let it pull on the engine. Oh. The water is white like me, Kabi. Mm. Should be around 25 now. Not go full, oh. check the 25. Yeah, it's, it's there now? Yeah. Okay, now lock it. Hey man, you're supposed to put the feeder before you put the water. There's a feeder there. And really? uh, next time, be putting the feeder. Okay. Leave that high, put the feeder, you lock it. You lock it up. Shift it to where it's dry. Shift the machine to where it's dry. Okay. Now, come, let me show you what is happening here. Under here, there's a round thing. On that there is a choke. Okay. It's, uh, there's a round thing on that there. You press it, you pump it up. You pump it up, then you see fuel inside here. Uh, if you pump it, fuel starts flowing. Do you see fuel flowing? To mm. that transparent hose. I uh, don't the flow. I don't the flow. Uh, pump it well. Pump it well. Pump it well. Pump it very well. Uh, it's flowing. Good. Now, start it. It's supposed to have a choke. It doesn't have a choke here. Yeah? Mm. yeah. You have a choke. Yeah. It not get choke. It not get choke. Yeah, starter. Starter. Just start it. Now control it with that thing I showed you that time. The fire is there, the fire button is there. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh yeah. No, don't do it completely like that. Oh. Hold it, hold it, hold it. No, no, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See this guy. See this guy. Oh, he's wasting there. Offer, offer. Okay. Okay. We need to tighten that place. Where? Here, but where the hose? Where the hose enter the machine? Yeah. Go and bring. Is there a rubber washer inside? Let's check it. Okay. Yeah. It was trying not to. Okay. Things not tight. Let's put one more washer. See, on top of this place, eh? Yeah. There are some green, green, small, small things on top of that table. Uh, uh, give me the two. Let's find the one that will fit into it. Any small one there inside? Yeah. Put the small one. Where do I go enter inside there? Don't. You enter inside? Yeah. Okay. And they did put small spine inside this thing. Okay. 
Small spanner there. Um, yeah, man, with that, with that woman making me all this video. <laughs> Lock and only key first. Is it key? Is it lock? Mm -hmm. It's locking. Mm -hmm. Lock. Use your hand tight now. Oh yeah, use mm -hmm. that spanner. This spanner. Is that spanner yeah. is not this the one. This one is fourteen. Yeah, it's not the one at all. No man, you say what I know that's fine, I'm not sure. No, that's fine, I'm not sure. I want this. There's no way plus fine. Go and find something for us to use. The spanner did not come with it. Uh, if that is not tight, it could even move as you are moving the. And this one, the spanner is supposed to tighten. Yeah, the spanner, I think so. Because it's permanent. Okay. On it again, let us see. It's still moving my hand. Oh yeah, on a most where that go splash. Okay, okay. You okay. find okay. You get no way away this thing, was it 14 or how many? 14 no day, you know. That one you see just as how many? That one is 10 and 9. Where is that place? Spinal or plier? Find plier for me. Give me the video. Map person. Go cut. Uh, go post them. Eh, map person. Give me plier. This one. Okay. Please just be videoing my hand. What I'm doing. And this one will go enter the abyss. That one a big one. No try. Put them inside. Enter. Enter both. Nice. Baby. Baby. Mm -hmm. Look up for this side. Look up for this side. Enter. Okay. We go enter. Shine the touch. Get me a shine the touch. Fix and clean. Mother, the video is handy. No, I'm not the video now. Mm -hmm. The touch there, they have flagged the thing. Okay, it's been yes. the video. She can reach the end. We go down to the end. Mm -hmm. I will be down. I will be down. 
Another call again. Another call. Now the still the, the same pin. All me the my, my charger. All you, the same pin. You get all the same pin. You don't get charger. Adjust, adjust this place. It's too far. Yeah. Uh, now small pin, Abi. Go, go, go. <laughs> go give me my go charge my torch, Abi. But the welcome here, Abi. Don't be afraid. Is it video? Is it counting? No. Is it is counting now? That is um what